Ukraine was the epicenter of everything. Like everything. And that's because we had maimed that nation and made them deal to us. Barack Hussein Obama did it. You know, we deployed troops, National Guard, of course. And what states are the ones that work with Ukraine? It would be California and New York. So we deployed troops there because, you know, they weren't listening. It's like, why would you want to stay independent and hang out with the Russians when you can be with us, the Americans and the Europeans? <laughs> and they were really upset that they weren't willing to commit to receive debt from the EU and ignore Russia, which they had been attached to for eons. So we went in there and destroyed them. That's how Hunter Biden got his job. That's how we weaseled our way in there. We got a hold of corrupt people. We said, we'll help you out with your lawsuits. You get us in there. We wrote bills. We sent the money so we can help them conduct elections. <laughs> We did everything there. These contractors have used their connections, power, and influence to create an unprecedented international criminal enterprise where blackmail is traded and people's personal data is gold. Two whistleblowers, Tory and Patrick Berge, who both worked extensively within the shadow government as contractors have come forward with revelations that may be part of the biggest whistleblowing event to date. Trump focusing on Ukraine isn't just about Biden. It's about Jones, Hayden, Brennan, McChrystal, the State Department, USAID, and corrupt inspector generals. With everything in place and after being in control of the office of the presidency for decades, the military industrial complex had confidence they could take Trump out as a candidate or even as president. Has IIA been used against President Trump? Absolutely. Through the Russian dossier, um, there are so many people, former colleagues of mine, uh, directly connected to the Shadownet. John McCain and Lindsey Graham, one of the last two people to have their hands on the Russian dossier before it was handed off to BuzzFeed as part of the dissemination process. I told the president it was not John McCain. I know because John McCain showed me the dossier. It was built, it was a product, it was used as a weapon as part of an influence operation. It was fake information put into it to help create chaos and to influence an election. Bottom line, right? But those people that were directly involved with that were also directly involved with the shadow net. So you have knowledge of them using military grade psychological warfare weapons on the president of mm -hmm. the United States. Mm -hmm. Done by the closest people around him too. As Trump's election unfolded and as all of the Russia collusion and all these things started happening and, and becoming exposed, revealed to me it was to keep from exposing the stuff that they've been doing over here, which I believe includes the Maidan massacre in Ukraine. Where did the dossier come from? Nellior testified it came from the Ukraine. Where's all the money laundering and crazy IIAs we see going on in Ukraine? So Manafort's being accused of social media influence operations in Ukraine in 2010. World courts charged him with that. The Obama aid package in Ukraine, which corresponds with Joe Biden's billion dollar loan guarantee scandal, is the same aid package where Seidel got a field office in Kiev to provide election training and election management for the Ukrainian Election Commission. Seidel is one of the most notorious outsourced companies for elections, with regular electronic voting machine problems who also tabulate our election results in cloud services in Europe, aka servers outside the United States. A whistleblower leaked to me in 2019 internal documents from Seidel that appeared to show meddling in the Kentucky election. Atlantic Council has been deciding America's policies for decades now. And look at how, what a panic they were in when um, Trump made that phone call to Ukraine 
they went into absolute panic mode. 75% of the people testifying were all directly connected to General Jones, McCain, and an Atlantic Council. The now IG of the NSA, literally with his wife, created the National Anti-Corruption Bureau in the Ukraine in 2009. They created it. Robert Storch is the deputy head of the U.S. Inspector General's office. I, I recognize how important this task is for Nabu and for the uh, effort to address corruption there in Ukraine. How did this guy get confirmed? Not one person asked, hey, have you ever worked for four? I mean, a couple months before they even had the hearing to see if he's going to be confirmed or not. Nobody asked him, hey, did you by any chance get an offer from the president of Ukraine to work for them? It was all over the media, but not one person asked. You know who else helped them set it up? Bill Taylor and George Kent, those two clowns, also testified against the president.